Hello, seven one six, and welcome to your final lesson of half term in geography, all about our final fantastic place, which is Australia, <clears throat> and specifically looking at the contribution of Bondi Beach to Australia's economy. Those words will become a little bit easier as we go through the lesson. Our learning journey for this lesson is number one to describe the physical geography of Bondi Beach, focusing on how it was formed. The second thing we're going to do today is we're going to explain the impacts of Bondi Beach on Australia's economy. So how does it help it make money? And then finally, we're going to talk about just how good those opportunities are provided by the beach. The equipment that you'll need for today's lesson is a pen or a pencil. You will need some paper and you will need some colours for our final activity. So starting with the location of Bondi Beach, as you can see on the screen now, in the bottom corner, you have Bondi Beach here circled in a red circle. If we were using proper geographical terms, we would say that Bondi Beach was located in the southeast of Australia, which is on the continent of Oceania. To carry on developing our geographical terminology, we would say that Manly Beach was to the north and Palm Beach was to the south, with Sydney also to the south as well as its closest city. The Indian Ocean is to the south of the, of the beach and then you could also maybe make reference to the countries that are north of Australia, but I wouldn't worry too much about that for now. We're not going to spend ages talking about the location of the beach because we want to mainly focus today, first part of the learning journey, on how the beach was formed. As you can see on your screen, there is a diagram of a wave hitting the beach. What I want you to do now, really quickly, is I want you to draw that diagram out for me pausing this video and drawing that out and then resuming the video when you are ready to carry on with this part of the lesson. So waves are made up of two different stages. You have what is called the swash and something called the backwash. The swash, if we look at this arrow here, is the movement of the wave up the beach. Okay, And when it moves up the beach, if the swash is nice and strong, it will drop lots and lots of sand. If we look at this arrow down here, this represents something called the backwash. And the backwash is the movement of the wave down the beach. And if the backwash is really strong, that will take sand away, making the beach disappear. You can't have a strong swash and a strong backwash in the same wave. You have one or the other. We're going to focus on a constructive wave today. So beaches are formed when there is a constructive wave. So the swash, which drops all the sand, has to be stronger than the backwash because if that happens your beach will start to build up. What I want you to do is you've already created the diagram. I want you to have a look at these diagram labels here in the bottom corner in the yellow box. I want you to have a go at adding the labels to your diagram. I've given you the first letters of the labels to help you out a little bit so we know that this thick arrow here going up the beach is the swash so we would look for something linked to the swash in this bottom corner here we know that this wave has a strong swash, so that would go there. Then we will talk about what is the most important part of the wave to build the beach. What can't a beach be built without? What is the most important part? And your master task, if you want to have a go at trying to be over a grade seven, is I want you to think about what would a destructive wave do? If we've got a constructive wave with a nice strong swash and a weak backwash, if you had a destructive wave, what would the difference be between the two? Your second part of the lesson today then is all about how Bondi Beach helps Australia make money. So we're going to use the word economy, remember? That makes money. We know that Bondi Beach must attract millions of people every year because of tourism and people going on holiday. But it is not the only way that Bondi Beach makes lots of money for Australia. Number one, Bondi Beach receives 1.4 million tourists every year. They have to stay in hotels, they have to buy these souvenirs, they go into restaurants and eat, they might go to bars to have some drinks. So that makes lots of money for the area. Number two is that most of the houses cost over $500,000 because lots of people want to live on the beach. And the more people who want to live in an area, the more expensive those houses get. And that makes money for the government. And then finally, lots of small businesses and shops will open near the beach to try and make money from all the tourists that they visit. If those businesses make lots of money, they have to pay something called tax, which means that Australia's money goes up, their economy gets stronger. 
your task for this part of the lesson is to turn those three facts into pictures but not use any words. If you want to work at a grade three to four, so your developing level, you can use numbers and three words in your pictures to help you. Secure then, so working at five to six, grade five to six, you can't use any numbers or words to help you. It's all down to your pictures and you turning the information into pictures. And then finally, to be grade seven or above, you complete the secure task. And then tell me which piece of information do you think would make Australia's economy grow the most? Which one makes the most money? And then finally, our last part of the lesson today is you are going to talk about why some people might not want to go on holiday to Australia and to Bondi Beach, so that way then the beach won't make as much money. So on Clash Charts, I've attached two videos these ones here about wildfires in Australia. All I want you to do is watch those videos and think about why people might not want to go to Australia and what might stop them from going to Bondi Beach. Now we're going to manage, imagine that you have just been appointed as the Bondi Beach Tourism Chief. What we're going to do is you are going to create some advertising material, so a poster or a leaflet to promote the area and try and bring tourists back because after the wildfires, People didn't really fancy going to Bondi Beach because they were quite scared that the natural hazard could happen again. So on, tem on Clash Charts, there is a template that is called Bondi Beach Poster Template. If you want to work at a grade three to four, I want you to use the template to create a poster, which encourages people to come to the area. So that template is there to help you set out the information that you want to include. For secure, you would still be using the template and try and complete and include the grade 7 plus question sections. And then to make it super hard for yourself, I don't want you to use the template. I want you to use your own brain and your own ideas to think about what your poster must have to include. It is your final piece of work for this half term photography. And we really want to see some fantastic posters with lots of colour, lots of pictures lots of different literacy tools so alliteration rhyming which would attract people to the area and then to finish off your lesson today you are going to go through the list of things that you must upload and we're going to link it to your learning journey so by uploading your labeled constructive wave diagram you have shown us that you have understood the physical geography of bondi beach and by uploading your bondi beach tourism poster you would have shown us that you can explain the impacts of Bondi Beach on the economy and that you could also understand the opportunities provided by the landform and if they're good or not. If you have completed the secure and massive parts of your task, make sure you upload these in your uploads, include these up in your uploads as well so we can mark all of those fantastic pieces of work you have done. And finally, well done for participating in your home learning and we look forward to seeing and marking your work.